Well, Mr. President, sir, ni mzuri tuonge ukweli. Yes. This one problem with you, Mr. President. Unanga uroma. You are not empathetic. Nini kitu ya kasusha watu wengi, Mr. President? Naishi leote ilianza ile time ya floods. Remember time ya floods? Wati watu luko nateseka. You never even said a word. A week later on, we saw you on a plane, on a private plane to the U.S. Carrying all sorts of people. Unnecessary people to the US. Hapo ndo shide kanza. You never said a word. Ukirudi badu nyumbani. Tukanza mamba ya reject the finance bill. Kanyamaza tu ukona tunena mandamano. You never said a word. Until watu wakanza kuuliwa. That's when you decided to reject the finance bill. Mr. President Shwali. Mbona uona nyamaza alafu unapenda wongo sana. Unona tu vitu minafanyika when it gets out of hand. Alafu mnaza kuongea. Saizi, kuna watu wanazika watu wawo saizi mina tunongea. Saizi hata kuna rafiki yangu saizi. Anazikuwa saizi. Ni matanga. Hiyo hiki mekua ni matanga sababu ya mandamano. But we are here thinking about the economy. You are not in the families. Uja mention hata jina mtu mwoja. Kuna swali peni yonu mejibu. Kusema about rongai. You ask us. Kila mtu kwa space. Wana. from different regions in Nairobi and Kenya. Yeah. Rongai people are killed. Give the right people are killed. However, the information you receive, Unadhani, they, they tell you only one person was killed. Okay, that's a life too. They they do not feed you they do not feed, feed you the actual uh, the actual information. So you are just weighing the deaths of people, the number of people. You just tonight Kindiki was saying People are not killed, we are not aware, people are not abducted, we are just arrested. Some of us were arrested. And your excuse is that the police unit is an independent body. Surely, Mr. President. What are you going to do with the police unit? Police unit is independent. Alafu are going to do with the police unit? The economy is growing. How can... Right now, the country is mourning. Properties worth of billions were banned. You have not addressed that. All you think about is the, the, the foreign the foreign policy and the economic status of the country, not about the, the livelihood there of the common man AG. Surely, Mr. President, we need you to be with you. Be empathetic. Your government should be empathetic. You should stop this issue of police brutality. That's, that's what we want right now. Personally, the police came to my house at 3 a.m. They broke into my house. They, they refused to identify themselves. And that was it. We were abducted. It was like kidnapping. Mr. President, they even stole some stuff from our house. Imagine Askari Anakuja. Hakona bunduki anangia kwa nyumba. Hakona mask. 12 of them, with 12 cars arresting a single guy, an armed citizen. Alafu kimambia mwona na kuja kushika, ana kupiga. In the meantime, bado, anachukua vitu kwa nyumba yako. Unapele kwa police, fulani hatu ujini, not even a police station. When my friends were reporting the issue to the police station, they were not even aware. For my case, they even went to Parkland police station. That's where I was arrested. The OCPD told the guys, we know about this thing, but will not back any will not take any action meaning it was very criminal the ocpd parklands police station ocpd deputy ocpd was very much aware what was going on we are not we were not booked in a, any single police station we were taken in a certain house i think it was a safe house or something i was blindfolded some guys were blindfolded for like 12 hours surely mr president are we in a terrorist country? We just want you to answer that. Okay. This, this way we're in this space. Thank you very much, my friend. I, I regret your situation. If, if that is the kind of treatment you have gone through, I apologize. And I will take action in this manner. No Kenya. And I made a commitment uh, to the people of Kenya 
that there will be no extrajudicial killing. There will be no Rivayala. There will be no, you know, we used to have 20, 30 bodies in the, in the Vayala. When I came into office, I said nothing of that is ever going to happen. And I want to promise the people of Kenya that that will, that will not happen under my watch. However, I have had the kind of horror you have gone through. That is not right. What I will do after this uh, engagement, I would like I don't know, in a very uh, 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 um, uh, secretive way, if you can send me the details of what happened, I will be able to take action because you don't, you don't deserve the kind of uh, treatment that you went through. Let me also say the following. You have talked about empathy. Maybe, you know, people are born differently. Maybe we, 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 we empathize in uh, different ways. Um, for the case of uh, the floods, I even convened a whole cabinet meeting to just respond to that matter of, of floods. Three cabinet meetings. My minister was on the ground. I was myself in, uh, 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 in Kiamaiko, in person. I came there in Kiamaiko. And for the first time, uh, my brother, for the first time, normally, when people are removed from places, they are brutalized. They are removed and nobody cares about where they go. Nobody cares about what happens to them. For the first time in the history of Kenya, I made sure that every Kenya who was living in the riparian reserve was given money or alternative accommodation. We paid every Kenyan who left that place. 10,000 shillings to be able to relocate away from the danger of the floods that were on the river. I mean, it was the, the best that I could do in that circumstance. And I promised them that under our housing program, because we now have their, 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 their list, under our housing program, we are going to be consider them the first beneficiaries of our social housing uh, program. I made that commitment in public. If you ask our peers for uh, housing, they already have the data on these Kenyans who were are, who are removed from, uh, from, from the riparian reserve who had to be relocated and relocated for their own safety. For your information, we lost many Kenyans who were sleeping there, but they were carried by the floods. And it was the best thing that I could do. I went there in person. My minister was there consistently. I had three different cabinet meetings to attend the issue. We committed close to 400 million to make sure that those Kenyans who were in that uh, situation were attended to. Maybe it wasn't enough. Maybe I should have done more. Maybe then I should apologize for not doing more. But in the best, to the best of my ability, it is the first time the government of Kenya is providing money to relocate people who have been uh, affected in situations like the one in, uh, in, in the flood.